Hello, my name is Julia and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be here with you today for another deep stretch class. These are always highly requested and I guess it makes sense. Like a lot of us are, I'm filming this in winter, so this is even more of a tense time for our bodies. Um, but a lot of us do spend so much time seated because of the nature of jobs these days. Um, and especially in winter, we're inside a lot more. So I think it's really good that um, you wanna get a deep stretch in and wanna open up the body and just feel good and loose and free. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a very short space of time together, so I'm gonna get started right away. I would just ask if you have a pillow or a yoga block or even two yoga blocks, get them handy because we'll have some adjustments in the poses. And today I'm gonna be focusing on the lower body specifically, but we will introduce some upper body stretches throughout. So to get started, we're going to start in one of my favorites, one of the easiest that I put in all of my classes, butterfly pose. So bring the soles of the feet together here. You can place your hands onto your ankles and just make sure that you sit up nice and tall and maybe just flutter your wings for a moment here. Breathing in deeply as you grow tall in the spine and starting to feel a gentle opening in the hips. This is also a really great stretch for the lower back. I love it. <laughs> so breathing deeply. And then exhale, slowly stop the fluttering. And then we're gonna fold over our legs. And this is where you can bring the block into hand. Um, so either you can just come up and over and bring the forearms down on the mat with the palms facing up and leaning over the legs. Or you can also bring your block into hand and you can have your block up nice and tall here and rest your forehead onto it if you can get there. Otherwise rest it on your feet and let your head rest on the block. Breathing deeply here, in through the nose and out through the nose. We're getting a beautiful stretch in the lower back here. The knees are falling to either side as we open the hips. And having this pillow or block handy is really nice to take any pressure off the neck and the shoulders. We'll stay here for four more deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. And maybe with each deep exhale, we can either lower ourselves a bit lower on the blocks or even take the blocks fully away. Whatever feels comfortable for you, just feel into your body. Don't push it this morning or whenever you're practicing. <laughs> I'm doing this in the morning. Yeah, don't push yourself. Just give yourself time to open up and really move with the breath. One more deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, beautiful. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and roll yourself back up to seated and just bring the soles of the feet down on the mat here. Bring the hands behind you and just knock your knees from side to side here just to loosen up any tension in the hips. And now we're gonna come into a wide-legged seat here so you can have your feet nice and flexed. I know this is a more relaxing class but it's nice to make sure that we're doing this properly with the feet flexed and pointing towards the ceiling. And if you find this to be quite hard, just bringing the legs closer together and you can also bend the knees. Again, you can also place something under the knees if that makes it a little bit easier for you to keep them up. And we're just gonna go over to one side so we'll get a nice side stretch here whilst also stretching out the back of the legs. So now bringing the left hand on the inside of the left leg, you can bring your palm facing up and we're just gonna bring the right arm up and over. So you should feel a nice deep stretch in the back of the left leg, but also we're really getting into the side body here. Taking four deep breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Again, trying to get deeper with each exhale, but making sure we don't fall over the leg here. We're still lifting up, opening the heart towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Deep breaths in through the nose. And out through the nose. Folding a little bit deeper every time. One last breath here, inhale. And exhale. And then slowly coming back up to center, we're gonna bring the right hand behind us, left arm in front and take a nice gentle twist, gazing over the right shoulder. Growing nice and tall, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, over to the other side. So now we're gonna bring the right arm on the inside of the right leg and left arm comes up and over. We're getting a nice side stretch here, stretching the back of the right leg and feeling how this side feels in comparison to the other. You can close your eyes. This is a nice, deep, relaxing class. 
So allow yourself time to get into the body and really feel into the breath. Remembering to keep that heart shining towards the ceiling or the sky. And leaning deeper every time you exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Deep inhale through the nose. And last, exhale through the nose. Beautiful, coming back up to center now, bringing the left arm behind you, right arm in front, and just taking that gentle twist on this side, growing up nice and tall. And exhale to twist. Growing up nice and tall. And exhale to twist. Beautiful, coming back to center here, bringing the soles of the feet down on the mat. Give yourself a little movement from side to side, and then we'll make our way into a tabletop position. Let's take some cat cows here to bring the upper body into place, so placing those fingers nice and wide here on the mat, getting a nice grip here, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And let's inhale, drop the belly, open the chest and gaze up. And exhale, push the mat away. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, gaze up. And exhale, push the mat away. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And then slowly coming back to center, let's bring that right knee to the front of the mat and then bringing it out to the side. We're gonna be coming into one-legged pigeon on this side. So walking that back leg out, flexing the right foot here and bring the fingertips onto the mat, lifting yourself up, making sure those hip bones are pointing towards the front of the mat. Inhale, grow tall. And then exhale, folding however you like to in your pigeon. You can either stay up on the hands, you can come onto the forearms or come all the way down. And again, using your pillow or your block if you'd like to rest your head so that you're not having to push yourself or strain the neck at all. And again, staying here for four deep breaths wherever you are in your pigeon today. Allowing those deep breaths to really guide you up and over that right leg. Feeling the beautiful deep stretch in the glutes. Allowing your eyes to close as you connect with this part of the body and softening all the muscles in the body as we relax here. One more deep breath here. Exhale. Beautiful. Coming back up onto the hands here. We're just going to slide that right knee to meet the left and just wag your tail a little bit here. So just moving your hips from side to side, releasing any tension, maybe making some circles. And then we're going to take it to the other side. So the left knee comes forward and bringing it out towards the left side of the mat, walking that right leg back, coming up onto your fingertips and growing nice and tall in the spine. And exhale, folding over in whatever variation you would like to take on this side. Trying to keep your left foot flexed so we're protecting the knee. And again, we'll take four deep breaths here. This is the second last asana of today's practice. So allow yourself to really commit. Closing the eyes and really giving in to the softness. Allowing yourself to soften around this left glute. Relaxing any tension that might be stored in this area. Maybe even letting go of anything emotionally on the exhale too. And leaving it here. We've got one more deep inhale together. And exhale, beautiful, coming back up onto those hands, slowly fluttering the eyes open, bringing the left knee to meet the right, wagging your tail here, and then we're just going to gently walk those hands forward, drop the forehead down on the mat and coming into a gentle melting heart pose, into puppy pose. We'll just take two deep breaths here, inhale, and exhale, letting that stretch along the armpits and the shoulders intensify as we drop our heart closer towards the mat inhale and exhale beautiful slowly lifting that head up placing the hands underneath the shoulders again and then just come to sit onto the heels find yourself in a nice comfortable seated position here roll those shoulders up towards the ears and drop them down away down the back i'm super relaxed you can tell and let's inhale our arms up overhead, palms touch. 
And exhale, bringing those hands down to heart center. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Give yourself a moment of gratitude for showing up on the mat today. Giving yourself gratitude for softening in a world that sometimes can feel so hard. Allowing softness to prevail. Beautiful. Let's deep inhale together. One last big breath. Exhale, sigh out the mouth. Releasing the hands on the thighs and slowly lifting your head up and fluttering your eyes open. So I hope you feel nice and stretched out into the body now and hopefully you can take this softness into the world with you today. Thank you for joining me on the mat. My name is Julia and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.